Welcome back to Emily's Paper Caper. This is day 20 of 30 Days of Sketches. I'm working with this wonderful sketch by Jennifer Kane. You can find her on Instagram, Scrappin' Kane. I'll link to her down in the description. For her wonderful sketch, she has some circles in the background. Looks like an inspiration for mixed media in the background. And I'm going to use two photos taken of my daughter Audrey participating in Special Olympics. The district meet, meet was back in April, and these were taken then, along with her wristband that shows, I basically cut the wristband down, basically shows what events she swam. So I will get to the circles and the photos and things next, but I want to get the mixed media background started. So I found these Crayola quick dry paint sticks at five below. And I did some experimenting with them recently. And this is what the paint stick looks like when you just draw it on. And then if you add some water to it, it looks like this. And then if you just paint with it, it looks like this. So I'm going to, for this background, I want it to kind of look like water in the background since we're using swimming photos. I'm going to use a blue paint stick and then I'm going to paint over it with just a wet paintbrush. We're just gonna have fun playing with this. I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but it's a background meant to inspire water. So we'll just see, I've got this old spray bottle with some water in it and let's just go for it shall we I like that color blue. It's really pretty. I'm going to try some just to paint with it. And then I've got one of these, I call it a feather brush, but I don't, I don't really know if that's what it is or not. I'm gonna try to get some little splatters on the background. And then, guess what? We're gonna set this aside while we work on the other elements for the page and let it dry. And then by the time we're ready for it, hopefully it'll be good to go. Does this look like water and little splashes to you? I hope so, because that's what I'm going for. And that was quick and easy, painless mixed media with these Crayola quick dry paint sticks. I believe these are available on Amazon. I will link to those down in the description. As an Amazon associate, I do receive a commission for qualifying purchases, but I also found these at Five Below, and I think they were $3? I can't, three or $5. So if you want to t have a play with these paint sticks and try them on your pages, you can check Amazon or check a store like Five Below probably has them. Because it's Crayola, it's, you know it's non-toxic and it says it dries in less than 60 seconds. Of course, I added water to it so it'll take a little while to dry, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Let's make some circles, shall we? I've got some pretty blue papers that I think will be nice for a swimming page. I have my Creative Memories circle cutter and I picked the red and the blue. We'll use the outside circle here and do the blue first because it will be the larger of the two circles. Okay, I 
um, the layout also calls for a smaller circle, so go ahead and cut that now. This will be pretty for the background. These I can use for a different layout. Let's do this again. do another one. We won't quite get the whole circle, but that is okay. We'll hide it. And these remnants are going right into the scrap bin. You'll probably be seeing these on other pages very soon because I've got some more swimming pictures. I love these blue colors for swimming because it reminds me of the colors of swimming pools and water. Okay, it's dried and I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to use some Distress Oxide Broken China around the edges. This is kind of an off-white or light tan paper. The uh, crayon, the quick dry paint stick Crayola, would be a little brighter on a stark white paper, but I think this looks good. Because here's what it looked like on a white index card. I'm kind of creating some index cards with different techniques and inks and so I've started eventually I'll do a video but I've started to to do these with different techniques you can see how bright that blue is on a white index card but I'm happy with this it'll really help my photos stand out so before I add my photos, I want to add the circles in the background. This one is only a partial circle, so I'm gonna let it be on the side. And for precision gluing like this, I like to use Art Glitter Glue. This is what the label looks like. My applicator bottle was used so much that that label started to crack, so I just put some tape over it. But this is what it looks like. It's available on Amazon. Here's what I love about it. Just makes this little precision point. These circles are a little thin to be trying to use the ATG with. So this is going to allow me to get these adhered easily. One of the nice things about this glue, besides the precision point, is that it will dry clear. So I'm not worried that some of this glue might have gotten elsewhere on the page. It, it'll be fine. The paper's a little bit warped from that water, but when I put this into a scrapbook page protector, it'll flatten right out. No one will ever know. I want a photo mat. I think there's enough of this paper left over to do a photo mat. Yes, there is. Rather than trim the photo down, we'll do four and a quarter by six and a quarter. That will map the photo perfectly. We'll still have plenty of scraps left over for future projects. Back in the scrap bin. This is a 
job for the ATG. My very favorite scrapbook adhesive for sure. I like how the sketch has the photos a bit askew. Go like this. I saved a piece of the wristband they put on all the Special Olympics athletes. It gives their name and their event so that the volunteers can, can help them. And then I had this sticker left over and it has the Special Olympics Athlete Oath, which I think is perfect for this page. I can kind of put this right down here as a compliment and it will serve as page title, right? Let me know what you think of this layout and the background I created with the quick dry paint sticks. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting everyone.